Hi, dear friends, we are meeting after a week in my next video. How do you do? Fine. Okay. Now, in this video, I have changed my plan. I propose a change of plan in this video. Simply, uh, I would like to switch over to the old practice. I have chosen some words, important uh, words which are frequently used in day-to-day uh, -day life. Uh, and uh, I would uh, tell you how we have to use them in sentences. Uh, what is the meaning? In what context they are used? Why this uh, switching over? You know, stress mark, you know, uh, it involves much theory. Uh, now, you know, I keep it aside for some time. And uh, again, uh, this uh, has everything to do with uh, accurate English speech, uh, stress, uh, intonation, uh, everything. Okay. Happy? Right. Let's move on to the present video. Profession. You may know what is a profession. Job, work. Profession, you know, a job, work. And uh, other words, uh, amateur, amateur. And competent, 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 skilled or skill, skillful, all these words are closely associated. How they are used in conversation, in academic surroundings. Let me just help you understand. Profession, profession. What is profession? Job. The job of a doctor is called a profession. The job of a, a lawyer, teacher, teacher, technicians, computer uh, personals. Uh, so they are, uh, uh, that is, uh, that, uh, those jobs, their jobs called profession. The profession of a doctor. He is a doctor by profession. I wanted to become a doctor by profession. So now I am a doctor. His parents uh, wanted to or liked uh, the profession of a lawyer. So now uh, their son is a lawyer. Now we know he is a judge and a high court uh, or some other court. And the teacher, a teacher also much professionalism is required. So profession and uh, uh, job or uh, work, work, anyhow it's a work. All have some work, one work or the other, for which they are paid. Uh, but you know, this is different because a profession requires our professionalism. Professionalism, it's a, a kind of art, technique. So, uh, it requires much skill and training. And education also. A doctor, a lawyer, a teacher, uh, engineers, uh, technicians, uh, all other uh, such skilled persons, uh, they are called men of profession. So they are, uh, uh, that is, professional men. Because uh, their job requires uh, or the ability of <coughs> having high education, uh, and uh, technical ability, skill, practice, uh, and uh, that is a skill very much needed. And training also very much needed. A doctor, you know, how or uh, what is the term or uh, how long he has to study an engineer, how long he has to study, how much uh, and in what way they should be trained and they should be made skilled persons, you all uh, know that. So, uh, profession, the job uh, of a doctor. He is a doctor by profession and uh, she is at the uh, top of her profession now as a doctor or an engineer or as a technician uh, or as a computer personal. Uh, uh, so, uh, profession of a doctor, profession of a lawyer, profession of a teacher, 
professional technicians or trained persons who require high level education. So, professional. <coughs> profession is now professional. So, professional, you know, adjective. Uh, so, professional, you know, all professional men, women, they are automatically competent. They are expected to be competent, competent, skillful. So, competent, you know, they have the special ability to do things, special ability and uh, brilliance, uh, that is skill and uh, training to do their job very technically. So, you consult a lawyer, if at all you have, a, 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 that is a, a legal matter, you have to meet a lawyer by profession. Health issues, you have to meet a doctor. So, they are all skilled persons, trained persons in their field. So, this is about these professional men. And professionalism, professional in his approach means anybody, any work, anybody doing it with a touch of professionalism means doing very skillfully. A team of men or a team of women working something or doing some work uh, in a society or in a firm. Uh, so, you know, they have, they do, they have the ability to do anything professionally. There is a touch of professionalism in their work. So, always they do it like that. This particular girl, this boy, this student, the, does it like that. So, what is it? So, with much training, with much skill, brilliance, ability, doing everything neatly, impressively. So, that is a profession. Yeah, that is, a, we all take photos, but we are not professional photographers. We don't know. We don't have the ability. We don't have the ability to take photos in all angles. Many techniques are there in photography. We are not, all people, you know, are not professionals. So, you know, in that context comes uh, amateur, that word amateur. Amateur means uh, that is people, uh, an amateur photographer. I'm not a professional photographer. I'm an amateur photographer. What's the meaning? Uh, that is <coughs> persons, uh, people uh, doing it uh, or uh, taking photos uh, for fun and entertainment. They want to be jolly, uh, that is uh, happy. And they engage themselves in taking photos, but there isn't much professionalism or they are not professional in taking photos. So, amateur photographer, not a professional photographer. Take for example, you know, all the players, team players, the cricketers and football men and all other team games. There, you know, they are all professional, specially trained for that sport. And uh, taking much practice, uh, that is uh, training themselves, uh, picking up all the tricks, uh, all uh, ability to play the game, uh, that is uh, to make uh, uh, the whole world uh, get involved uh, or uh, to get the whole world happy. Okay, so amateur is different. An amateur player or photographer can become professional when he picks up, learns those skills of a photographer. That is the meaning. So anybody can do this work, any work uh, that is uh, with a touch of professionalism. So professionally they can do it, meaning uh, skillfully and uh, competent, in a competent way. That is, uh, this uh, uh, problem was solved particularly by a competent person, yeah, uh, that is uh, uh, an effective, uh, that is uh, or a professional man in that field. It was solved by that person. So, professional, professionalism, profession, all these words associated closely and amateur also and uh, skillful, skilled, competent. I hope you have you have, you have understood in what context and these words are used with what meaning they can be variously used not very much that is limited in the limited sense they are not used in limited sense variously widely they are used 
Please refer to dictionary and learn more about these words and practice them in sentences and improve your vocabulary and add to your fluency in English. Okay, let me meet you in the next video with some other important words. Until then, I say bye.